everybody, it's Jackie, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my September wrap-up wrap up my October TBR. So in the month of September, I read a total of six books, so I had a very good reading month, even though school had started back up. Um, and I loved all the books I read in the month of September. I actually read a good chunk that I, uh, these all these books I either gave five stars or four stars, and I really enjoyed all of them. So yeah, let's just jump, jump right in. So the first three books I don't have on me, but they're a part of the trilogy, and that uh, series is the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu. This is a YA dystopian, and it's very, very popular here on BookTube, and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. It definitely deserves the hype. Um, I gave all the books five out of five stars. I thought they were absolutely fantastic. And I highly recommend you guys go check them out if you haven't already. And the next three books I'm going to talk about are in part of another series that is a little bit longer. There's six, going to be six books. There's five out right now. And that series is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. So there's five books out right now. The sixth one comes out, I think, next year. And the fifth one just came out back, um, in September. So uh, I read the first three books. I love them all. So we have, first we have Throne of Glass. I gave this a five out of five stars. I have full reviews for all these books on my blog, which will link in the description box below. Again, gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. Definitely deserves a hype here on BookTube. The next one was probably my favorite in the series so far, and that is Crown of Midnight. I also gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. Fantastic. Um, and then the last book I read this month was the third book, and that is Air of Fire, which I gave a 4 out of 5 stars. It's a little bit slow, but it was also still really fantastic. I did have some problems with it, but I go into more detail on my uh, review on my blog, which will be linked in the description box below again. So those are all the books I read in the month of September, and now we're going to be going into the books that I'm going to be reading in the month of October. I have quite a large TBR, so yeah, the first one is the one I'm reading right now, and that is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Sarah J. Mass. This is the novellas to Throne of Glass, and I'm about a quarter of the way through it right now, and I'm still in the first story, and I'm really liking it so far. It's really cool to see um, Selena's backstory. So yes, I will be finishing this probably in the next couple of days. The next book is the fourth book in the Throne of Glass series, and that is Queen of Shadows. I've heard mixed reviews about this book. Um, a lot of people either have really enjoyed it or have mixed reviews about it, but I am going to be reading it and see what I think. And yes, in the last book in that series, which I'll also be reading this month, is Empire of Storms, but I don't have my physical copy on me because it's coming in the mail. Um, but I'm really excited to be reading that because it just came out um, like two or three weeks ago, so I'm really excited to read that. The next book I'm going to be reading was the Peru's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of September, but I didn't get a chance to read it, and that book is Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. Um, this is a middle grade novel, and Tahara Mafi also wrote the Shatter Me trilogy, um, which is a dystopian, which I have not read yet. Um, but I heard really, really good things about this book. Um, everybody seemed to really, really like it, so hopefully I will enjoy it as well. The next book I'm reading for a very specific reason, that book is In Real Life by Joey Graceffa. Um, this, this is his memoir or autobiography, and I'm going to be meeting him next Saturday when he comes to Brooklyn, Massachusetts for his newest book's um, release, which is Children of Eden. Um, it's a dystopian novel, so I'm going to be reading this hopefully this week because I'm going to be need him, meeting him next Saturday, um, October 8th. Um, so yes, I will be reading this. The next one is one of my highly anticipated reads, and that is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Um, this is, again, another dystopian, and ignore the pink sticker on it, it just marks my TBR. Um, and yes, I will be reading this. The next book I'm going to talk about is another very popular series here on BookTube, and I actually started another book by this author back in, I think, May. May or June, and that book is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is book one in the Mortal Instruments. I actually did start reading The Infernal Devices back in, again, either May or June, and I was really enjoying Clockwork and Angel. I never finished it, but I did really enjoy it. Um, so I'm hoping I'm going to enjoy this as well. Um, yeah. The next one is another dystopian I have been wanting to read for a while now, and that is The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. Uh, Lindsay Cummings just recently uh, wrote a book with uh, Sasha Ober at a book utopia called Zenith, which I still have not read yet. It's uh, on ebook and to be published um, next year, so congratulations to the both of them. 
Um, and I've been wanting to read this for a while after hearing about Sasha being uh, re writing a book with Lindsay. So I'm hoping I will enjoy this. I heard really good things about it, and yes. The next book I'm going to talk about is another book by Sarah J. Mass, and that is The Court of Thorns and Roses. I will be reading this and A Court of Mist and Fury hopefully this month. Um, yes. Next book has been on my TBR for months now, and that book is Outlander by, Di oh, Outlander by Diana Cabaldon. Uh, yeah, this book is massive, but hopefully I'll get to it this month. Crossing my fingers. <laughs> The next book I'm going to talk about is another one I've talked about here on my channel before, and that book is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Like I said in many other videos, I have never finished the books, but I have watched the movies, so I'm going to be reading this and hopefully finishing the entire trilogy this month, but I'm not going to keep my hopes up, because knowing me, I won't finish the entire series. In the last book I have a physical copy of is Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Again, this has been on my TBR for months now, and I've been really wanting to read it. So, hopefully, I will get to it this month. And the last book I'm going to talk about that I don't have a physical copy of, but I'm going to be getting it um, from the library, hopefully soon, that is the Peru's Utopia book, Club, book of the Month for the month of October, and that is Stealing Snow by Danielle Page. Uh, Danielle Page wrote the um, Dorothy Must Die. I think it's going to be a trilogy. I'm not quite sure. Um, I have not read that, but I have heard fantastic things about it. Um, and hopefully this is just sounds amazing as well. It's a retelling of the Snow Queen, which is what be, um, is inspired the movie Frozen from Disney. So uh, hopefully I would like that. And yes, so that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I will have all my social media links down in the description box below. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. So you can go oh, check me out on all all of those if you haven't already and I will see you guys on Wednesday for another video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye!